Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Oh boy, we got a good one today, folks, because today we're going to be talking about Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. So as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons, so uh, let's get to it. Pros. Yes, there are pros to this movie. I want to be fair. I mean, it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to do my best. So pro number one, Resident Evil as a brand, it's big within the video game world. It's been around, the whole series has been around for like over 25 years. I mean, there's been plenty of main games, side games, remakes, the whole nine yards. And with like all the main games, I mean, you got Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, we can skip 5 and 6, 7 and 8. Well, 8's a little iffy from what I've heard. But the rest are considered to be great games. Particularly 2, 4, and 7. The thing is, I own all 8. Well, <laughs> the first 3, I have the remakes of those games. The others, I have like the original versions of those games. But still, I own them all to some extent. And, you know, not to mention, you know, a whole bunch of side games, too, that some are good, some are trash. I'm looking at you, Operation Raccoon City. <laughs> but, yeah, Resident Evil as a brand, big within the video game industry. Which means this movie already has a built-in fan base that might watch it. Although I'm not super enth enthusiastic that they will watch it, but still, that fan base is there. So... I would consider, you know, brand name recognition here to be a pro. So, that's pro number one. Pro number two, well, this is... I kind of have to split this into a pro and a con. But I'm going to talk about the pro side first with this particular pro. And that's what... The previous Resident Evil movies. All six of them. The ones that were... Well, Paul W.S. Anderson, he didn't direct all of them. He directed the majority. I think he directed four out of the six. But they all starred Mila Jovovich as Alice, an OC who was never in the games at all, but it was still about her anyway. Yeah, those movies. Although those movies weren't very good, <laughs> they made money. I mean, let's just look at the history here. Boom. Ignore some of these animated movies like uh, Degeneration. That's animated. It doesn't count. But yeah, we'll look at the live action ones. First one made over $100 million, Then Apocalypse made 125 Extinction made 149 And then Afterlife, we got a humongous jump. 295 And then Res Retribution made 240 And then the final one, which came out four years ago, made over 300 Granted, a majority of the box office at that point was overseas, but still, they made money. People watched them, even if they weren't good. So it's more of like hate watching, but still, they made money. That's all that matters when it comes to the pros here. So yeah, those movies were successful despite being hated by a lot of people. So maybe this movie has a chance. I don't think it does, but it might... Maybe if like a, a minor miracle happens. But yeah, I would consider the fact that the other all the other Resident Evils were successful financially. I would consider that a pro. A relative pro. We will get to the con side of the <laughs> of that later on. But yeah. The other Resident Evil movies made money. So that's all that needs to be said about that. So that's pro number two. Pro number three. This is also kind of a pro slash con, but I'm going to get to the pro side first. The video game movie genre. It's been around for a long, long time. It's had a whole lot of failure. <laughs> but in the past few years, things aren't looking so terrible. I mean, Detective Pikachu was decent and it made money. And then last year, you had the Sonic movie. This, a movie that went through a whole bunch of drama. <laughs> And was still good and still made money. So we are we are inching, climbing out of this deep hole that is 
the video game movie genre. So like the whole genre itself is it's not it doesn't look as bad as it once did, like say 10 years ago. <laughs> so I would consider that a relative uh, pro, but trust me, there's still cons to that. The, the genre is still looking bad, but I'll talk about that later. But yeah, right now the genre is not as terrible as it once was. So I would consider that a pro. What are the pros can I think of? Uh, I guess the Thanksgiving release date helps somewhat, even though this is a weird movie to put on Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving is usually dominated by adult dramas and family movies. And this movie is neither. <laughs> it's a horror movie. Like, how many horror movies have come out over Thanksgiving? Probably less than... I'm, I'm guessing less than uh, double digits. But I could be wrong. But yeah, not too many. So it's kind of an uncharted territory. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, the date, you can still make some money over the holiday before you inevitably collapse. But yeah, you know what, I would consider that a, a relative pro. The Thanksgiving date, it might help it make a couple more bucks. So that's another pro. Okay, I'm done with the pros. Cons. Where to start here? Let's go over... One of the last points I made, like, regarding the original Resident Evil movies. Sure, those movies made money, but they were terrible. Well, the first one was considered meh. The rest were terrible. They All, all of them came off as bad, bad, bad fan fiction due to the fact that the main character is an OC and all the other... Like, any established character from the games feels like a, a side character, like an, an extended cameo. And a lot of people were burned by those movies. A lot of hardcore fans were burned by those movies. So I feel like we might have a situation where anyone who was burned by the past Resident Evil movies are not going to watch this one. Because they just don't want to go through that experience again. And I can't blame them for this. It's kind of like what happened with the Suicide Squad. When people watched Suicide Squad 2016, they hated it. And so a lot of people didn't want to watch another movie called Suicide Squad. Now for that movie, I thought it was extremely unfair because the Suicide Squad is great. It deserved better. This movie, I don't, I don't think it's in the same league. I'm pretty sure it's not in the same league. So yeah, I think this movie has to pay for its predecessor's sins. I think that applies here. So I'm going to consider that a con, paying for your predecessor's sins. So that's con number one. Con number two, the video game genre, the video game movie genre. Oh boy. Good thing I got a list here because there's so much to talk about. So, I mean, as I already says here, films based on video games have almost always received negative reviews. However, some have received, achieved cult followings. That is true. And of all the movies here, only three have received a fresh rating. Angry Birds 2, Pika Detective Pikachu, and the Sonic movie. Like, wow. <laughs> and there's so many. Where do I even start? Well, I guess we can start with the Super Mario Brothers movie. That movie's a classic. It's an ironic classic, but a classic nonetheless. But it's still tanked, though. <laughs> so that was a bomb. Double Dragon was a bomb. Street Fighter was... Well, it has a bit of a cult following now, but it's still not good. Mortal Kombat was a hit. A movie I love, personally. Uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation was not a hit. It's a, also a movie I love, but for different reasons. <laughs> not the reasons the filmmakers intended. Wing Commander bombed. Lara Croft Tomb Raider was like the biggest video game movie for a long, long time. Got the first Resident Evil, which did fine, although it wasn't good. Cradle of Life tanked, killed Tomb Raider for 15 years. House of the Dead bombed. Resident Evil Apocalypse did fine, did good. 
along the dark bombed doom bombed <laughs> blood rain bombed sauna hill did okay although it wasn't good doa bombed although i love the movie ironically <laughs> resident evil extinction did good financially postal barely existed hitman did okay although it wasn't good uh in the name of the king did horrendous far cry barely existed max Payne did okay but it wasn't good uh, legend of chun li was a disaster <laughs> tekken barely existed per prince of persia it wasn't the worst but it didn't do great either financially afterlife and retribution did great financially even if they weren't good <laughs> Sun Hill Revelation does no <laughs> Need for Speed wasn't good, but it made a bunch overseas. So yeah, Hitman Agent Forty Seven awful movie. It didn't do the absolute worst. Warcraft bombed hard in the states, made up for it in China and other parts of the globe, but it still wasn't good. <laughs> Assassin's Creed bomb, bomb in every regard, disaster. <laughs> Resident Evil, the final chapter, I mean, I mean, it was successful, although it made literally all its money overseas. It didn't even need a domestic release to make money. You got Tomb Raider, which did okay, but it wasn't great. Same goes for Rampage. Rampage did a lot better, but it still was kind of mediocre. Tech the Pikachu did good. It was reviewed well. Sonic movie was reviewed well. Did good. Monster Hunter tanked. I think that's mainly because of pandemic. Because it, it released like that during like the worst part of the pandemic. Um, Mortal Kombat this year was okay. I liked it. And yeah, now... Well, it doesn't mention the Angry Birds movies. But the first Angry Birds did fine, although it wasn't good. Second one did way worse, despite being better. And then like in the future, we got Uncharted, which is also from Sony uh coming out in february then we got sonic 2 and then a bunch more after that so yeah, that's all the video game movies as you already saw majority of them were not good and did not perform very well so that's still bad for this movie <laughs> so i would consider just being a part of the video game genre and uh, not great i would consider a relative con it kind of depends on what it is or if it looks good. But yeah, in this case, I don't think it looks good. So, video game movie, con. Next con. Speaking of not looking good, the trailer for this movie was not good. I remember when it came out, I looked at the like to dislike ratio. It wasn't great <laughs> at all. I mean, it wasn't the worst I've ever seen, but it was pretty bad. Now... Like a service I use or like an extension I use is a vidIQ. And by using it, I'm able to see what the like to dislike uh, ratio is from like percentage wise. And ideally, that percentage needs to be in the high 90s. For Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, the percentage was 80. That's bad. That's a bad sign. And I watched the trailer. It just, oh, it, it, it looked cheap. The music was really weird. It looks like they just ripped it off, ripped it straight from He-Man. It was very, just, it painted the movie in like the worst light imaginable. And then the comments, oh, there was some good comments in there. A lot of people kept calling it a parody. You know, like people were just like, are we ever going to get a good Resident Evil movie? And then there's just one comment that kind of sealed this movie's fate. Someone was like, like, I don't know why you guys are complaining so much. This is the best looking Resident Evil parody I've ever seen. <laughs> that that's a that's a death blow right there. I mean, this movie Yeah, it is just, I, a comment like that will kill a movie immediately. And I feel like that's already happened <laughs> looking at its Tuesday uh preview numbers. Which are worse than Encanto and House of Gucci. So it's dead last. So that's a terrible sign already. But yeah, the trailer, bad. Bad, bad, bad. The marketing's also been pretty 
non-existent. I kind of, I was expecting a lot more ads. I mean, I've seen plenty of ads for Encanto. I've seen plenty of ads for House of Gucci. I've barely seen ads for this at all. So that's bad. Maybe it's because Sony are saving all their money for Spider-Man No Way Home instead of spending it on this, which I say is a smart choice. <laughs> but yeah, this movie, the marketing department really dropped the ball. So from the trailer, marketing, all that, that's a con. Another con is the reviews. <laughs> They're not good, as you would already expect. They're like in the 30s. Last I checked on Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, I mean it's considered better than some of the other Resident Evil movies, but that's not saying much at all. It's still bad, so that's not going to help it in any way. <laughs> so reviews are bad, so that's an easy con right there. All right, the last thing, last thing, and this goes into, you know, how the movie looked from like even looking at the trailers and looking at even po pictures. Oof. Let's let's just go through this real quick. Ugh, stupid ads. Get off my screen. Okay. Here is a poster of all five main characters in the movie. We got uh, Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, and Albert Wesker. So let's go through all these characters. That way I can truly show you what the problems with of this movie really are. So Claire looks the best. I have no complaints about her. She looks pretty accurate. So no reason to talk about her. So on the upper left here is her uh, brother, Chris, Chris Redfield. He, that just doesn't look like Chris to me. He looks kind of, uh, I don't know. He should be a lot more rugged than this you know going by what he looks like in the games that he he looks a little too baby faced i guess <laughs> and it just doesn't look like like chris like in the games like he is a buff dude and he's kind of intimidating this guy not so much so that's bad and then to the upper right here we have jill valentine who looks just nothing like her video game counterpart <laughs> so just why why just why all right to the lower right here we got albert wesker which again like jill i'm like wait that's supposed to be big bad wesker <laughs> like it looks nothing like him i mean it's probably like an origin story or something but his origin but it you literally could have called him anyone else and nothing would have changed but calling him Wesker, it just, it does not look right. Hell, even the Paul W.S. Anderson Resident Evil movies got him right. And this movie couldn't. <laughs> that should tell you a lot. But easily the worst out of all five is what they did with Leon. Now, Leon, probably the most recognizable character of the whole series. And with this, look, no disrespect to this actor. I'm for sure he's a, a decent dude. But man, this was just straight up bad casting all around, especially with this guy. Because Leon, first of all, Leon never had facial hair ever. Second, Leon had his iconic looking hair. That's gone too. And the third, like Jill over here, they uh, race swapped him. Why? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> It's completely unnecessary, and all it's going to do is piss off fans and confuse everyone else. So why do it? <laughs> because, like, if you were to ask a Resident Evil fan, if you just took a picture of him and you showed it to a Resident Evil fan, you would be like, okay, who is this? They're not going to have a clue. They're going to be like, I think I mentioned something I heard in the comments. A lot of people thought he looked like a character called uh, Carlos. From the games. I think Carlos was from Resident Evil 4. I think. Was he? No, it was 3. It was 3. Wow. I was I was a little off. But he was like the secondary uh, protagonist in that game. 
A lot of people thought that was him, but no, this is Leon. If you told them this was Leon, they'd be like, what? <laughs> that is not Leon, but it is. And yeah, it's just, why? Why do this? I don't, I don't understand. It, 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 there's no positives to this. So, yeah, like the, the way the characters look is just, that's just the icing on on the crap cake right here so that's just a con how the characters look uh yeah i think that's it i mean there is competition but there's nothing like direct so yeah i feel like it might just be drowned out by a lot of other more appealing movies like ghostbusters afterlife and others like Encanto and house of gucci but okay now Opening weekend, five-day weekend and three-day weekend because it's the Thanksgiving box office weekend. Oh, there's not too many comparisons for this movie when it comes to Thanksgiving. I mean, I could chuck. I mean, going over, like, openings. I mean, the only one I, I see here that can fit is Hitman, which was also a video game movie. That opened with 13 million opening weekend and it made 21 million for the five-day weekend i do not see that happening at all i i think this movie is going to do a whole lot worse than that uh so if i mean what i'm trying to look through this list here i mean ninja assassin eh I mean, I, we could compare it to that. It was Transporter 3. Uh, oh, God. We're really going to the depths now. Robin Hood. Now, that could be a good comparison. Because Robin Hood was also another DOA movie that came out over Thanksgiving. And it did just horrendous. That opened with... 14 million for the five day weekend, nine for the three day. I think that's where this is going to end up. 14, maybe 15 million for the five day weekend. But you know what? I'm going to be optimistic, somewhat optimistic. I'm not going to completely trash the movie. I'm going to say it's going to open between 15 to 20 million for the five day weekend and make less than 10 for. The three-day weekend. I think it's going to have a front-loaded run. Where it's going to make a decent chunk of change on Wednesday. And then it's going to fall hard the next day. And then I'll have a boost on Friday. And then it'll just collapse after that. I don't see it doubling that 15 to 20 million for the five-day. So it's probably going to end at around 25 to 30. Which would be on par with the last Resident Evil movie in the States. So, and that, for that, like, just what was the point of this reboot anyway? So, yeah. That's what I think is gonna happen. So, yeah, that's Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. And that's it for November. Now we go to December. I don't know if this Try Harder movie is gonna be wide. If it's not, then I have nothing to cover that first week. <laughs> And then, like, the next week I have two movies to cover. I have National Champions and West Side Story. I'll cover those. But I don't know if I'm going to cover Try Harder. If I will, you'll see a video on it. If I don't, you won't see a video on it. But, yeah, I guess stay tuned for those. But, yeah. Anywho, yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got playlists on the homepage with all previous prediction videos I made this year. You know, I've covered Mortal Kombat when it comes to video game movies. If you want to know my thoughts on that? That was one of my more successful uh, prediction videos. So if you want to watch that video, you can go right ahead. And all the others too. There's also the Cancelled series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. I covered Resident Evil... A few times, actually. I think I think it was twice. I covered it twice. The second time I covered it, it was with um, Uncharted, hilariously enough, considering both 
are from Sony. So, uh, yeah. So I covered it twice. If you want to watch those videos, you can go right ahead. And all the other canceled videos I made, I just did one about Trolls 3 and Clifford the Big Red Dog 2. You want to know my thoughts on that. And all the other canceled episodes, there's now 90. So you got plenty to choose from. That way you're up to date on all these movies, where they are, where they're going, all that jazz. So go watch them now. And then we got box office recaps, where I go over the box office results for any particular month. November recap will come out mid-second week of December. That's what I'm aiming for. That's why I think it's that's when I think I'm gonna do it. So stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past um recap videos I made, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.